Well hits his first three out of the gate tonight. He was one for eight on Sunday. Weber gets upended, does not get a blocking call. Nelson is going nuts. He is beside himself on the sidelines, and Weber in the face of West now. So the trash talking starts early. That may have been a little more than trash talking. Maybe Weber is a little upset that he got upended. That was pretty dangerous. Nine to four. The Warriors by five. Here's Barkley again. Trying to get position on Houston. Where he can make the big plays of the game. A moment ago, Weber goes in, thinking about dunk. Mark West comes over, no blocking foul. The finger roll, and Weber goes sprawling. And yes, he did not like that play. In the face of Mark West, Charles Barkley experiencing muscle spasms in his lower back during practice yesterday, sat out the second half of the workout. However, Suns trainer Joe Prosky said Barkley is okay and ready to go at full tilt here in game three. Yeah, don't read those game notes. Because Phenomenal quarter for Charles Barkley. One for the Bucks. Sprewell goes down. And the call by Mike Mathis. Perfect himself tonight with six for six. He's got three from three-point range. Barkley, 11 for 11. And now Sprewell, flagrant foul was called on Kevin Johnson just a... Kevin Johnson digging Sprewell out, smothering him. Oh, look out as Barkley goes flying. An elbow from Sprewell. And now Barkley has to be restrained by his teammates. Four on Sprewell. Well, there's no question Sprewell meant to get contact. He did not try to fight around the screen. He just simply said, I want to go through Sir Charles. And he got back up quickly as if to go at Sprewell. He was pulled back by KJ. Now the question is, will it be labeled a flagrant foul? I don't think it should. That's just a good hard foul. Unfortunately, though, it's the fourth on Sprewell. So he's got four. Owens has three. Houston has three. As Barkley sets, he's three for four. Charles Barkley with 33. He's already near his total from game one, 36. Then Latrell Sprewell trying to get his teammates fired up, and Charles was having just a huge game, but Latrell says, I'm not intimidated. Yeah, and I, I picked this out because um, Latrell had to go to the bench right after this, and, and he shouldn't have picked up that cheap foul. Um, he had to go and sit down for a little while, and, and you need Latrell in the game in this kind of situation. And they did. They had to bring in Avery Johnson when Latrell got into foul trouble, and, and that doesn't help their cause. Maybe he lost his cool a little bit there. Yeah, well, Speedwell's a, a big scorer, and he's a guy who can uh, try to defend KJ. So, uh, like I said, you need to keep him in the game. You can't have him picking up fouls like that when you're getting ready to get swept. And here's the other key part of that play, Kevin Johnson. Yeah, that's the other key part of the play, because KJ stops barking, and Charles already had his first technical. And at that point, you know, the referees are trying to stop all this trash talking. It's easy 